Number 42. State the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and describe briefly what the principle implies. So we could either think of it as the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, or we could think of it as the Walter White uncertainty principle. By the way, if you guys have not seen Breaking Bad, go see it. It's a must. Love that TV show. You got it, right? Because I love chemistry, but that's besides the point. So what was Heisenberg's uncertainty principle? It is, in a, in a nutshell, it is this equation right here. Now, what does this exactly mean? Before we untangle it, well, I guess we'll untangle it right now. There's a couple of things. Just know that delta x is the same thing as this. So these two link up. And delta px, I'll put it in a different color. Delta px is the same thing as m times delta v. So they're just stating two of the same things, but just in different variables for the p. The x is talking about a position, so where an electron is located. And the p is talking about an electron's momentum. And a momentum, usually in physics, it will be a p variable, and p always equals mass times velocity. That's why it's m times a change in velocity here. So it's, it's basically stating now that you can never really know for certain or with certainty an electron's position and its momentum at the same time. That's why it's an uncertainty principle. You got to be uncertain about something. So you're either going to know an electron's position, where the electron is located, or you can know where or how fast a, an electron is in motion. But you would never be able to find out where it's located and its motion at the same time. You have to be uncertain about one of them. Because these are in an inverse relationship, right? They're being times together. So if your knowledge of one of them goes up, the other has to go down because it's going to be greater than or equal to this constant value. So if this is remaining constant, you can either change your position or you have to change your momentum. If your position increases or, and your knowledge of the position of an electron increases, the, your knowledge of the momentum has to decrease. So there's a given tug. You are either going to know an electron's position or you can know its momentum, but you cannot for certain know the two at the same time, and that is the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So it's defined by a uh, formula right here, but briefly describe what the principle implies. Instead of me trying to you know, waste your time writing it down, just know that the Heisenberg uncertainty principle states that you can definitely not for certain know where an electron is positioned and its momentum at the same time. They have to be compromised if you want to know one or the other. So you can't know for certain. That's why it's an uncertainty principle. And that was what Heisenberg was all about. So that's the answer to this. Pretty straightforward. If this helped you, give it a like. And if you want to help us out, click the subscribe button. You'll also get tons of questions coming to your feed when we post next. And if you guys are moving on to physics, we got you covered on that if you're using the OpenStax textbook. And last but not least, go watch Breaking Bad, right? Take a couple hours, go watch the first episode. It will grab you. And if you did watch Breaking Bad, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys and what you thought. Did you like Jesse? Did you like Walt? Who'd you like better, right? I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.